In this example, I regress y on x and a factor color that can be red, blue, green. You can see from the model, I have dummies for blue and green. If I want to test whether the factor color is significant, I need to test that both parameters on the dummies is zero. I can do this with the partial f test. Note, this test is not the same as doing t tests on each of the dummy coefficients. Note also, there are many other tests called the f test, so be clear what the test is doing. To do the test, we have to run two models. One is to regress y on all the regressors. This is called the unrestricted or full model and we regress y on the same regressors but leaving out the ones whose parameters are being tested to be zero. This is called the reduced or restricted model. Test statistic may be expressed in terms of residual sum of squares RSS or in terms of R squared from the two models. In either case the key part of the test is the numerator that computes the difference in the bit. Suppose the null hypothesis is true that the coefficients are zero then the RSS and R squared in both models will be similar and so the difference in RSS and the R square will be close to zero and so the F stat will be close to zero. There's a test statistic value far from zero points to rejecting the null. Formally we compare the F stat to the critical values from the F table where the degree of freedom is Q, the number of parameters being tested to be zero and the other degree of freedom is N minus P where P stands for the number of parameters in the full model including the intercept. Note the F stat can't be negative. So if you get a negative number, it means you probably got the differences the wrong way around. The partial F statistic is derived supposing the assumptions of classical linear regression hold. So we should check these conditions before running the test. I won't be doing this in the example as I want to focus on doing the test. So we'll suppose all the conditions are met. SPSS does not actually do the test automatically, so we have to do it by hand. Some of you may need to do it anyway for the exam by hand. Here's the output from SPSS to get RSS and and the sample size. I'll show you how to get these tables at the end of the video. Here's the calculation based on RSS. The stat comes to just over 22 and exceeds the critical value at the 5% level and indeed even at the 1% significance level. So we conclude there is very strong evidence to reject the null that the factor is not significant, i.e. there's evidence to retain it. Note the degrees of freedom on F table to find the critical value. So two here corresponds to the number of parameters being tested and 146 is the number of observations minus the number of parameters in the full model, including the intercept. This is 150 minus four. Here's the test computed using R square. The test statistic value is slightly different due to rounding and nothing to worry about. The conclusion is the same. R uses have an easier time. Here's the code to do it in R. Run both full and reduced models, then use the command ANOVA to run the partial F test. Command as.factor tells R the variable color is a factor and R will automatically create the dummies, unlike in SPSS. P value for the test is 3 times 10 to the minus 9, which is less than 0.01, so we have very strong evidence against the null. Yep, the analysis in R is a lot faster. Finally, let me show you how to run the two models in SPSS. We can run it one by one, but we can run it as blocks. I'm gonna show you how. Now first go to Analyze Regression Linear. First, we want to run the reduced model. So put the Y in the dependent box and X in the independent. Instead of clicking on OK, we click on Next to fit the full model. And the full model is X, including the dummies blue and green for the color. I can toggle back and forth between the two models. So we call this block two. I can go back to model one, which is called block one. And when I'm done, I click OK. All right, so this produces two models. Model one, what it calls model one is the reduced model and model two is the full model. And this, for this ANOVA table, the RSS in model 1 is there and the total degree frame 149. For model 2, for model RSS is here and the degree frame is the same, 149. 